You know, the reason police are so concerned largely is because he is a well-known person, is the victim Michael Judkins, and he's also largely very well liked. 26-year-old Michael Judkins, who died in Monday afternoon's Thompson Street shooting, was well known to New Haven police. But that's not really his story. I knew him personally from police contact, but also um, for years we've been doing the New Hallville basketball games. Judkins and a 20-year-old male were shot in or near this Audi just after 1 p.m. Monday. There was definitely a beef over some jewelry. Um, I'm not, like I said, at this point in the investigation, I don't want to get into it. Um, I'm not sure if that's what led to this shooting. But Chief Jacobson, who said the department's concern is for the entire city following this homicide, delivered an impassioned plea. There's the potential, since Michael was so beloved in the city, for retaliation. I'm asking everybody involved in this to not retaliate. Let us do our job. Please tell us what you know. And the chief says his police department has its ears to the ground. Just this morning, uh, the DEA and our detectives um, made an arrest, uh, seized a gun. Um, not a suspect or anything, but related to possible retaliation. Fox 61 has learned the arrest and seizure were made in Hamden around 5 a.m. today. There was a prior investigation into this person, um, and, and we know that he's close to this incident, so we wanted to move quickly. Tony, before you go on the subject of gun seizures, how's the police department doing in that battle specifically? Well, they're having a lot of success, Ben, and too much for their liking. Actually, this year so far through August uh, 29th, they had seized 170 guns. That's 36 more than last year, sort of a good news, bad news situation. But of particular concern is they've seized 37 ghost guns this year those are the guns without the serial numbers as compared to last year at this time they had only seized four so the challenges continue for the police department ben sarah the numbers are staggering tony thank you